Welcome back! Version 2 is finally ready. If you're tuning in for the first time, please make sure to watch my previous video first, which goes over the basics and how to set up the Google Sheet. Afterwards, come back and view this video. A quick reminder, to use this sheet, you will need to be logged in with a Gmail account. When you open the template sheet below, select File, Make a Copy. I really appreciate all the positive feedback from version 1, and I hope it has been helpful. Most of these changes are viewer suggestions, and I look forward to more feedback, so please continue to comment below. If you find this to be helpful and would like to donate, it is greatly appreciated. Even a small donation gives me the ability to spend more time on this and future projects. Let's get into the changes and what you need to know. Now up to 100 hotspots or validators can be added. Formula errors were found and corrected. Now you can also add validators and track their rewards alongside your miners. I've also added owner groups and owner payouts. And finally, I've added a tool to help import reward history. I've expanded the limit from 40 to 100 miners. Originally, I was going to make it 1,000, but as I expected, performance was an issue. The solution for more than 100 is to make multiple sheets. This brings up another point I want to mention. Because this isn't a relational database, performance becomes an issue very quickly. This is part of the reason this was designed specifically for rewards and not monitoring uptime, witnesses, beacon frequency, etc. Google Sheets just can't handle that much information when we are talking about a large quantity of miners. If I get enough donations, I'll make an app with all of that fun stuff. But for now, I just don't have the capacity as this is not my job. Another minor improvement, I found some formula typos in some of the cells which have now been corrected. Most would only have caused issues if you put in more than 20 miners, but just to be safe, it's worth utilizing this new sheet. Some of you own validators as well as miners. I've made it possible to track validator rewards as well. Validators act just like miners. All you need to do is check the box if the address you enter is a validator like this. The entire row will turn blue for easier reference. Another feature is owner groups. I wasn't originally planning on adding it so soon, but I think I mentioned I would in the comments and I want to follow through with my promise. Let me explain what I mean by owner groups. Imagine you and two friends pitch in to get a hotspot. Individually, you will be referred to as owners, and collectively, you will be a owner group. You still need someone to host it at a physical address. When your hotspot generates rewards for the month, it is time to pay out. First, the host will be paid their cut. In this case, the host gets 20% of the total monthly earnings. The remaining monthly earnings will be split among your owners group based on the percentage you set. Let's say you are owner 1 and you get 50%. Owner 2 will get 25% and owner 3 will get 25%. Here is how to set it up in the spreadsheet. First, we will add all the owners to the drop-down list sheet. Now, under Owner Groups, we will name our group. Uh, please do not use any numbers for the group name. It breaks the sheet. I'm sure there's a fix, but for now, just don't use any numbers for the group name. Next, select the owners and their percentages from the drop-down menus. This should add up to exactly 100%, any more, and it will turn orange as a warning. Finally, we will add the hotspot and the owner group along with a host and their percentage. We can apply this owner group to any other hotspot as well, and it'll keep the same percentages. Some of you may be the only owner. In that case, you can ignore the owner group sheet entirely. You should still add your name as an owner under the drop-down list sheet. This is needed when filling out minor info in version 2. Many of you asked, how can I import reward history? This feature will help make that process much easier. On the sheet, Import History, select the miner or validator from the drop-down menu. 
Here we can see the rewards generated by day. The first block for helium was produced on the 29th of July, 2019. So if you're tracking the original hotspot, it will still work. Now we can copy the data we want to import. For this example, we can see the first reward this miner produced was on the 13th of May, 2021. I'm going to copy this information to the miner reward log sheet. First, I'm going to copy the dates. Then I'm going to copy over the rewards to match. It is very important you select edit, paste special, paste values only, otherwise it will try and paste formulas that will break the sheet. Now let's copy the rewards and edit, paste special, paste values only. Keep in mind, based on the trigger set for the macro daily reward copy, it may be scheduled to run later today. This could duplicate the row or that date and rewards. It's easy to fix. We would just want to come back the next day and make sure we didn't get a double entry. If you did get a double entry, then you can simply select one of the rows and delete that row. It would be a good idea to check this the next day just to make sure. If you're not already using an aftermarket antenna and you would like your miners to generate more rewards, I highly recommend a quality antenna. My miner is consistently being witnessed 18 kilometers away and farther at times. That's over 11 miles. I'm using a 30 foot LMR 400 cable with a 5.8 dBi antenna. For safety, I have it wired with a lightning arrestor that is attached to my house ground. I believe the 10 gauge solid copper cable is the NEC standard for grounding in the States. To test before I permanently mounted the antenna, I used a telescoping flagpole that I could easily move up and bring down. Please use my affiliate links below to all of these items. My antenna was purchased directly from Rack Wireless, so after clicking the link below, search for Fiberglass Antenna Kit for Helium Hotspot. And please note, I am not a professional. Please make sure to consult a professional in your area before installing any antenna. I hope you guys enjoy the improvements, and please leave comments below. <laughs>